so hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video we will be creating an online editor as you can see up here there is a website opened on my desktop screen that is w3 schools editor whenever the user will be typing the code up here it will be shown at the right side what it's doing what the code is doing and there is a run button so in today's video we are going to be creating a code online code editor with the left div right div and the run button with the help of javascript so without wasting the time let's jump to our code editor and let's create our own online code editor so let me close my chrome and now i have created a basic html code css and the script js inside my online editor folder and now inside the body tag what you need to do is you need to create a div within a class of main editor and inside that div first i'll be giving it a button within a class of button and the button name will be run the code and after the button i'll be creating a div with a class name of first and to run our code what we'll be doing is we'll be writing content editable perfect and just remove the double quotes and equals to and after this div just press enter and type a placeholder up here so it will be like um, write write the code that's perfectly all right so after this div i'll be creating an iframe with the class name of second in which i'll be seeing my whatever code i've written in my editable div which will be shown in my iframe div so now second and our html part is finished so now let's right click on our index.html file open it with the live server let me drag it up here as you can see up here we are having a button with the right the code text and we are having a div so now uh, let's minimize our google chrome and let's come back to our css file and First, we'll be writing the basic CSS code that will be box sizing border box. We'll be giving it a padding zero. The margin will also be zero. Perfect. And then we'll be selecting our button class that is BTN and we'll be giving it the position of fixed from right. We'll be giving it zero from left. From the padding, we'll be giving it 0.4 REM. Then we'll be giving it a width of 4m perfect and we'll be giving it a background of black and we'll be giving the color of the text that will be gold okay golden rod that's perfect then the font size of the button will be 1rem and the outline of the text will be none then the cursor when the user will be hovering on that button the cursor will be pointer the height will be 90 vh so why i am setting its height so let me remove it let me comment it out up here before that let's save it let's come to our google chrome file and up here you can see up here at the right corner there's a button up here but what i need is i want its height at my full what i'll be saying is full web page okay so i'll be setting its height 90 vh and i'll comment up here that will be vertical height perfect let's save it let's come to our google chrome file and you can see up here now we are having a button with its own height now what we need to do when someone will be hovering on this button it should change its color so now i'll be selecting my button class and i'll be saying when the sum one is when the user is hovering on this button change its text color to white and its background color background color to golden road let's save it let's come to our google chrome file and now when we will be hovering on this button it will be changing its color and its background color 
as you can see up here that looks really really awesome now now we'll be selecting our main editor class which is this one our div and we'll be giving it some styling i'll be changing its background to black hover on it and i'll be changing it to bit gray then display flex then i'll be giving it to width that will be 100 percentage and the height width is 100 percentage okay so i'll not be giving it an height i'll be giving it a padding of 1 rem and the box shadow will be 0 2 pixel 3 pixel black the position will be fixed now i'll be giving it a height of 100 vertical height vh then justify the content in center then align the items which are there inside in center then i'll be giving it a border of 7 pixel solid i'll be choosing the color that will be mm, 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 like i want the color to be gray oh, like that one that's good perfect save it let's come to our google chrome and now as you can see our online code editor looks somehow like that So now why we are using this dot more main editor we are using it to change the background color and make code div in center so we'll be getting all the source code how can we create an online editor in the link in description So now we'll be selecting our first div, which class is first. Okay, so let's select it. The class is first. And I'll be giving it a background color of white. The width will be 50%. The overflow X I'll be keeping hidden. Okay, and the white space I'll be going with pre. And the box shadow, I'll be keeping 0, 1 pixel, 1 pixel, black. That's perfect. And the outline will be none. The padding will be 0 0.6 REM. And the height will be 90 VH. Let's save it. Let's come to our Google Chrome file. Okay, so it's looking somehow like that. Now what I'll be doing is I'll be coming under the overflow X and I'll be saying it overflow Y set it to auto. Okay, so that's great. So up here we'll be writing our code. So now let's style our second div. Which class is second, okay. second okay so why we used the first what we have done inside the first div what styling we have given it let's write a code up here it's for making code coding or oh, sorry coding div full height for giving it a full height at right side and creating a new div for showing for showing the result perfect let's comment it out now let's come to our dot second and let's give it some styling so now I'll be giving it a background color of white no I'll be giving I'll be changing its background color to like grayish type it should look a little different so that will be better okay and i'll be giving it a width of 50 percentage the overflow y will be auto the white space will be pre 
and from the right I'll be giving it zero pixel the box shadow will be zero one pixel one pixel black the padding I'll be giving it will be 0 0.4 rem okay and i'll be giving it in height of 90 vertical height so now let's come to our google chrome and this is our final design up here we'll be writing our code and up here it will be displayed so this was our html and css part now let's jump to our javascript but before that let's comment it out why we styled our second class so it's to make div for showing the showing the code like right for making the code is that a good comment up here so let's remove it uh, so we use this to make our result div mm, at the same size same height of our left div left container that's perfect awesome so our html and css part is finished now let's jump to our javascript part so first what we'll be doing is we'll be first selecting all the elements which are there that is first class iframe tag and our button which is okay so we'll be selecting its tag so now let's come up here we'll be using constant that is first that equals to document dot query selector parenthesis single course it was dot first puts the class then let's select it copy and paste it two times more and now i'll be changing it second one to iframe not iframer it's iframe and it will be it's a tag so i'll be using an iframe tag without the full stop the third one i'll be changing it to button so i'm not selecting its class i'll be directly selecting its tag so no need of full stop directly type button so now why we are using this thing let me comment it up here sorry first first select all the elements which are there in our HTML file perfect so can you see the code or let me zoom it bit let me zoom it that's perfect or just to wait a minute let me zoom it more okay so that's good so now now we'll be selecting our button dot we'll be adding an event listener to it when the user will be clicking on that button call a function call a function parenthesis call braces enter that is var html that equals to first dot text content then we'll be selecting our iframe where it will be shown iframe dot source that equals to data so wait a minute that equals to double quotes data text slash html semicolon then the character set that equals to utf minus 8 comma then we'll be plusing it with the encode it encodes its uri that is html okay so now let's save it so now what for what we have written this code let's comment it up here like when we click on the button we need to change the text the code the code which we have written into html what it will be showing okay understood so now let's come back up here now we'll be going with the first 
we'll be selecting our first day first class of our div and we'll be adding a event listener to it okay parenthesis single quotes that will be key up comma function parenthesis curl braces enter then var html that equals to first dot text content then we'll be selecting our iframe it's source okay that equals to data text slash html semicolon character set that equals to utf minus 8 comma plus encode uri that will be html so perfect let's comment this code it's for adding real time effect auto reload the code page so we are using this code to add a auto reload like when the user will be typing it will be automatically showing the result like it's a live server so let's save it let's come to our google chrome up here let's write the code and let's see is our code online code editor working or not so let's write this simple i'll be writing hi there and it's not working why let's click on run oh it's not working so we are having some problem in our javascript code okay as you can see up here we have written iframer let's change this to iframe let's come to our google chrome file and now let's write the code let's go with an h1 element let's type up here hi there and that's perfect our code editor is working now what we need to do is like we'll if you're going to w3 schools website up here and this is the basic html code if you're copying it and if you're paste, trying to paste up here as you can see we can paste it and as you can see it's really really great we can run our html online editor whatever code you will be writing in this div it will be shown up here so even we can use css file up here like i'll be going up here under the title and i'll be using the style tag okay and inside that i'll be going with an h1 and i'll be giving it a color of red perfect as you can see the h1 tags color is changing to red so now if i wanna give the change the font size of the paragraph i'll be selecting the p element i'll be changing its font size to 30 pixel so up here we have selected our paragraph let's call braces so this is our h1 tag let's close it up here so that was the mistake we have not closed our h1 tag so as you can see now it's changing its font size of the paragraph so this is how can we create an online editor with the help of the javascript this is the easy way if you like the tutorial video please do not forget to like subscribe and share it with your friends i'll be creating daily and awesome videos so you will be getting the source code of an online code editor at in the link description